Hi, we are going to talk about simplifying algebraic expressions. This is for easier cases when uh, no exponents are going to be involved in these problems. We have something called uh, like terms. So like terms are going to be terms that contain the same variable. The number in front of it that we call a coefficient is not going to make any difference. So if we look at this first example, we've got 2x minus 5 minus 7x. So 2x and minus 7x are going to be our like terms and those are going to be combined. So what we do, just I'll show you one problem in a slightly extended form. We're going to rewrite it as 2x minus 7x minus 5. We can rearrange the terms as long as we keep the sign in front of it the same. And what we're going to do after that, again, we have these two terms right here. We're going to factor out x in front of it uh, in the parentheses is going to be 2 minus 7 and then minus 5. And 2 minus 7 will give you negative 5. So our answer here is going to be negative 5x minus 5. Please keep in mind that these problems uh, with rare exceptions are going to be giving you an algebraic answer, which means you are not expecting just a number. And these two things cannot be combined at all because one of them has a variable, the other one does not. So let's take a look at the next problem, 2z minus 5 plus z minus 6. Let's figure out our like terms. We certainly have two terms that have z in them, and we have two other terms that do not have z, just numbers. So those are going to be combined. I can rewrite that as 2z plus z means it's 1z. We don't write 1z, but that's what it implies. And then minus 5 minus 6 these two terms together you get 2z plus 1z will give you a total of 3z negative 5 minus 6 will give you negative 11 this is our answer next problem negative m plus 3 minus 5 plus 3m uh, I recommend rewriting that also note that negative m means negative 1m then we're going to put this 3m next to it plus 3m and we're going to copy the other two terms plus 3 minus 5 so negative 1m plus 3m negative 1 plus 3 is 2m ne uh, 3 minus 5 will give you minus 2 this is our answer our next example involves parentheses so when you go with the order of operations the way it normally is described the operation inside parentheses needs to be done first, however, you got q plus 3, you can't really do q plus 3 unless you have a value for q, which you do to not. So what we do is we use something called distributive property, which tells you to take the number in front of the parentheses and distribute that number over both terms inside. And that's going to give us 2q. Then you multiply 2 by positive 3, which will give you 6, and then minus 5. There are two like terms here, 6 minus 5, q, there's only one of them. And your answer is going to be 2q plus 6 minus 5 is 1. And that is our answer. Okay, let's move on. Now we have two variables, so what happens when you have two variables is you are going to combine them together. That means x goes with x, y goes with y, t goes with t, etc, etc. So in this case we have 2x plus 7x and you have negative 2y minus y. Right? So what we are going to do now is we're going to um, combine them and if you want you can rewrite that as 2x plus 7x minus 5y minus y. So that would be our form when we rewrite that. And what we are going to do now is combine them the same way. So you just combine the x's together, which in our case you will have 2x plus 7x. That will give you 9x, right? So it's going to give you 9x here. I want to remind you that negative, one, negative y means negative 1y. So uh, what's going to happen is you have negative 5y minus 1y. That's going to give you negative 6y. Okay. And that's 
the answer here. Let's take a look at the next problem. Let's sort it through this whole thing. So we have T and another T here. Let's write them together. 2T and then no more T's here and then minus 7T. Okay. Then we have plus 5. Scan through. We got minus 1. Those two go together. And you have one lonely Q. We are going to write that. 2t minus 5t. 2 minus, I'm sorry, 2t minus 7t will give you negative 5. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. So it's negative 5t. 5 minus 1 is going to give you 4. And then plus q. This is actually an acceptable answer, although usually what you do is you put variables first and then you put the constant, which is what 4 is, at the end of this. Okay, so moving on. We got 7m, that's the only m that we have here. Now we have plus 3n, minus 3n, minus 5. So what's going to happen here is you got positive 3n minus 3n. Those two terms are going to cancel each other. That is going to give you 0. And then what we're going to have left is 7m minus 5. And that's the end of it. So is it possible for terms with variables to cancel? Yes. All right. This one problem, you need to be very careful with it. Because right here, it's a very common mistake. Right here you have 1 negative 1 and when you are going to and because of the parentheses you're going to need to distribute and when you distribute you're going to need to distribute negative 1 so 3 gets distributed here and here we're going to distribute negative 1 that's a very common mistake please don't make that mistake so what do we have now let's write it very carefully 3 times q is 3q 3 times negative 2 is minus 6 Negative 1 times 5 is minus 5. Negative 1 times negative q is minus, minus negative and negative is plus 1q or simply plus q. Minus 2r. Now let's take a look at our terms. 3q plus 1q minus 6 minus 5 and minus 2r. So 3q plus 1q is 4q. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11, minus 2r. As I mentioned earlier, we typically want to put our variables uh, in front and put the constant after that. So it's not really a mistake if you leave it like that, but this is just a, a preferred format for the answers. Okay. All right, now we have really challenging problems because they involve multiple brackets and parentheses you need to be very careful here and uh, go slowly don't rush through that and you will be fine okay so what we do first is when you have what they call nested parentheses so like in this case we have parentheses inside bra inside of brackets we will do those first we're still following the order of operations so multiple parentheses we, we work what we call inside out and you're going to do the same thing here. This is going to be your first step. Do not touch anything else until you are done with that. Which means we are still going to have our brackets. And this is going to look 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 1 is minus 2. Then plus 5. The bracket is still there. Here we're going to have minus. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times negative x is minus 4x. Minus 7. Since we now have brackets, what's inside the brackets, we're going to need to do that first. In these brackets, we have negative 2 and positive 5. In these brackets, you have 8 and negative 7. So those things will need to be done next. So then you're going to get a bracket, 2x plus 3, negative 2 plus 5 is 3, minus... 8 minus 7, well, let's write the one with the variable first, and then 8 minus 7 is positive 1. 
just like we did in the problem right before that one you see this negative in front of the second bracket that means you have negative one and when you distribute you must distribute that negative one as the whole quantity okay otherwise you are going to get it wrong the first bracket doesn't have anything in front of it which basically implies one but when you multiply anything by one it's the same thing we're gonna have 2x plus 3 negative x times neg negative 1 times negative 4x is gonna give us plus 4x negative 1 times 1 is minus 1 and I think you should be able to see it by now I don't really need to rewrite the terms I can see 2x plus 4x will give us 6x 3 minus 1 will give us plus 2 this is the answer the next example here is going to be even lengthier because we have well actually not that much so again we have to be very cautious and I do want to point out a couple of things here first of all here you have negative 3 which you are going to distribute here we have negative 1 which you are also going to distribute so this is what we're going to have to do first remember on problems like this we work inside out we're going to start with innermost parentheses or brackets and go through that so let's go ahead and do it q minus 3q negative 3 minus 1 is plus 3 the second bracket will have 2 in front of that so we're going to have to get to it in a moment you're going to have r here you're going to have minus 1 times 5 is minus 5 minus 1 times negative r is plus r let's see what can be combined in parentheses in brackets we have q minus 3q that's 1q minus 3q that is going to be negative 2q plus 3 this is what we have in this bracket this is simplified plus 2 we haven't gotten to that yet r plus r is going to be 1r plus 1r is 2r minus 5 before we can uh, finish this problem this number 2 positive 2 here we're going to have to distribute that and over here we understand there is 1 which we're just going to um, open the brackets it's given this negative 2q plus 3 2 times 2r is going to be plus 4r 2 times negative 5 is going to be negative 10 I think we can look at this very carefully and realize that negative 2q plus 4 uh, well actually we can't combine them this is q and r okay so it's going to be negative 2q plus 4r and then 3 minus 10 these are like terms is going to give us negative 7 and that completes this problem mm -hmm. I think we have just one more problem all right this one's really scary has a lot going on in here so let's make sure we are very careful when we do this and let's take one step at a time without rushing through this and then you should be perfectly fine we work inside out parentheses inside positive 3 here we are going to distribute that negative 1 here we're going to distribute that this has to be our first step there is nothing else you can do here to make things go easier so let's rewrite that negative bracket p 3 times q is plus 3q 3 times negative 1 is minus 3 this completes that minus 5 plus 3 bracket what do we have here p this is negative 1 times q minus q negative 1 times 7 is minus 7 we are very very careful we're going to watch every step and we're going to make sure we don't make uh, any mistakes here as we move along no like terms here you got p you got q you got a number here you got p q and a number we can't simplify that which means we can go ahead and uh, just open the brackets but the brackets need to be doing this very carefully because you have negative here that means it's negative one and you got to distribute that over all three terms 
in front of this bracket you have three you're gonna need to distribute that also yes you have three different terms you can combine them you can distribute you can use distributive property over as many terms as you have so negative 1 times p is negative p negative 1 times 3q is minus 3q negative 1 times negative 3 is plus 3 we still have that minus 5 is just gonna sit there by itself 3 times p plus 3p 3 times negative q minus 3q 3 times negative 7 is negative 21 Let's take a very careful look at what we have here. So we have negative p and positive 3p. We have negative 3q and minus 3q. We have 5, I'm sorry, 3, negative 5, and negative 21. So those are the things that we are going to combine. So we have negative 1p plus 3p. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2, 2p. Negative 3q minus 3q, be careful, they do not cancel, they're both negative. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6, negative 6q. And then we have what? Negative 3, I'm sorry, positive 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 21 is minus 23. And that is going to conclude that problem and that's going to conclude our lesson for today. And I hope this helps.